Summer is coming, and like a lot of you, Buttercup is worried about the air conditioning in the van. So we're gonna explore that a little bit today. This van has a brand new kit installed, the Overkill AC kit from Million Miles Printer. So it's working top notch. Uh, this is what a really good one works like. And then we're gonna go around front and explore my vans. Not so top notch. Hopefully we can all learn a little bit from it. Buttercup and I have been telling you folks for, I don't know, three years now, you need one of these. An Autel AP200, it's the most convenient code reader that's compatible with our vans. It's 50 to $60, depending on when you buy it. Uh, we've got links for it at floridavanman.com. We're gonna use that today to look at the, uh, the live data in the van. Pressures, temperatures, switches, all of that kind of stuff is recorded various different ways. And uh, we'll be able to look at it on our, on our telephone via that dongle. Let's see, we're also going to use little Freon recharge kits. I've got the more expensive meters and gauges, and frankly, Butters doesn't know how to use them. So we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to use this gauge right on top on this van. Not even going to add any Freon to it because we know it's in good shape. Might also use a voltmeter. I've got all of this, but I don't know how to use any of it. This works pretty good for what I'm doing. Probably what you're doing too. In the overkill kit, there's a new AC compressor. Which we can kind of see. Hmm. Kind of hard to see from up top. There's the angle we'll be looking at it later to verify when that clutch is engaged. There's a new dryer over here and a pressure transducer on top. This is the front side liquid line, also known as the high pressure side. This is the rear, rear side liquid line, also known as the low pressure side. And there's our low pressure port. That is the only port this guy will click on to, so we don't have to worry about getting on the wrong side there. Up inside here, there it is. There's the expansion valve. That makes sure only gas flows through to the evaporator. And the evaporator coil is up inside the dash. Out in front of the radiator, we have a condenser coil right back in here. You can see it behind the fan. The radiator in front of the radiator, if you will. So our basic components are the compressor, the condenser, the dryer, expansion valve, the evaporator. All right, so I started the van and plugged in my AP200. Going to allow it. Go to diagnostics. Ben Sprinter. Manual selection. Sprinter. for a T1N, USA, OBD, control unit, scroll all the way down to HZR, heater control, live data, actual value switches. So we're going to check all this out just to verify the, the uh, control module here is good turn that on. It comes on good, so that's working. The, the button definitely works. Sometimes that red light will light up, but this will not light up or not change to on. And that indicates we have a problem right here. There's an interior air temperature sensor right behind here. These valves are often stiff. Don't force them.
push it in to recirculate. That should be displayed here. Recirculate air off. Recirculated air on. For these knobs, I typically advise just pointing them straight up and leaving them there. Then you can close off these vents as necessary to force all the air up to the defroster. Or you can open the vents and get some air in your face. Fan controls, we've got a video on that. Speed, if you've only got a, a high speed fan. There's a resistor blown out. This one works, it's just a lot lower on three. So we're gonna leave that on three for now so I don't have to talk over it. And then the red blue knob down there. Yeah, right here on the bottom of the uh, AP200. It's at 17 degrees as I turn that up. Now that's not telling me what temperature it's actually sending. That's only telling me what temperature I'm asking it for. That should turn all the way up to about 60. Yep, there we go. Let me crank that back down now to 17 is the lowest. So the controls here seem to be working. Now we're going to go, uh, let's see, we will escape out of this screen and go to the actual values. Compressor clutch is on. There are several things that will turn that off, such as uh, low freon level, incorrect temperatures at various different places. The temperatures are checked all over the place on this thing heavy acceleration or wide open throttle. We'll shut the compressor off to give you more power to the engine. You notice right away this is 15, 16 bar. That is good cooling temperature. And our air outlet is already down to 10 degrees. And this has been running, what, three minutes, four minutes? Auxiliary fan right here. That is the condenser fan we talked about out in front of the radiator. Pressure sensor, that is on top of the dryer. So, let's see, air outlet temperature is getting down to... Come on, focus. Eight degrees. Yeah, I'll buy that, that's cold. Looking down here, you can see that clutch is definitely spinning. And we can really hear it when the aux fan comes on with a condenser fan up front. Five volts on the back wire. Two point two volts on the sensor wire, just two point three, just the same as it's being read on the AP two hundred. Two point eight, two point nine, and the front one is the ground. So if we're not getting any pressure voltage here, we can, or it's not changing, we can always check to make sure we're getting 5 volts on the rear pin here. Please do read the instructions on the can if you're going to use it differently than I'm showing you. I'm just going to plug it in to see what pressure we have in the pin. In the in fact, give it a little squirt here, I'll get way up too high so I know that's not Just the hose has been charged now, much higher than green. Perfect, we're right in the middle, right where we wanna be. The top end is not better than the low end of the green. Right in the middle is where we really wanna be. Ice cold air is just falling out of this door I left open. And to do 
do this properly, we should have that fan on full, recirculate flap on. I'm sorry, no, recirculate flap off. All right, so some things we can check if our air conditioning isn't working at all. Switches and actual values. Make sure the van knows that the push button control is telling the air conditioning to come on. Oh, it doesn't hurt to check all these other functions as well, but that's the main one. And we can check for five volts. At the rear pin. If either of those don't work as they should, if we don't have five volts at that pin, or the AP200 AP doesn't show the air conditioning come on, the problem's gonna be in this control module. They can be repaired. Uh, module Repair Pro is a company I've used. Uh, there's YouTube videos, and I'll probably be making one myself showing how to repair those eventually, because I'm collecting the broken ones. Now, next thing we can check is the clutch. Going to actual values here, compressor clutch. Right now it is on, that would usually be on. That can turn off if you don't have enough Freon or if you're under heavy acceleration. Uh, there's a couple other reasons for it, uh, temperature related. If, if the ambient temperature is below freezing, the compressor won't, clutch won't engage. Uh, if it says the clutch is coming on, but you're not visually able to verify that at the front of the engine, I would start checking fuses and check the 12 volts on this wire. It is the only wire going through the air conditioner compressor. It's usually a blue wire and a black sleeve. If you're not getting 12 volts there, then regardless of what the ECM is telling it, that clutch isn't gonna come on. On the steering column fuse box, the bottom two fuses, front heater blower, seems kind of relevant. Over here, heater control panel is kind of relevant. The rest of them don't seem very relevant to air conditioning, but it never hurts to check them all. Might find some other feature that you didn't know why it was working, it was just a blown fuse. Keep in mind, they don't always look blown when they don't work. And sometimes they just have bad connections. So it pays to pull each one out, visually inspect it, put it back in. Underneath the seat base, we've got a couple more fuses to be concerned about. Under relays and diodes, line number four, four there is auxiliary fan air conditioning. 37 down, down here is auxiliary fan air conditioning. Don't really know which one is 37 and which one is relay four. So we just check it all and hope for the best. All right, so looking at my van now, a little bit different. Compressor is on, AC is on. Refrigerant pressure is much, much lower, five bar. Pressure at center voltage is only one volt, so really we're not working yet. Out there, temperature is 22 degrees. That's because we're parked in the shade and it's kind of a cool morning for Florida. One could kind of argue that it's blowing air conditioning already, but it's not. You have a little throttle, it starts to pick up that pressure. Got something starting to happen. Probably let go of the throttle after just a little bit here. And it's gonna keep climbing. 
9 bar, 1.6 volts. Ten bar, one point seven volts. It's climbing, and it's getting colder. Thirteen bar and getting colder. Now I did the same testing yesterday afternoon. Didn't have near the same results because I was parked in the sunshine. It was two o'clock in the afternoon. Whenever you're charging an air conditioner system, you should be parked in the shade, fan on full blast, recirculate flap closed, not on, and all the doors or windows open. After giving a little kickstart there with the throttle, it's taken over on its own, just sitting idle here. We've got a 19 and a half bar, 2.8 volts, and under 10 volt, uh, under 10 degrees coming out of the vents. gets up to 20 bar and the fan kicks on. Refrigerant cools down to about 16 bar and the fan kicks off. Cools down a little bit farther right away, but uh, yeah, that, that's going to yep, here it goes, bouncing back up already. 16, 17. And my manual tells me if that uh, fan cycles, I'm sorry, not that fan, but that clutch down there cycles more than 10 times in a minute, we don't have enough cooling, enough freon. Ideally, your van's going to be up to operating temperature before you start trying to charge your air conditioning or test it. Don't have that luxury right now. The belt's squeaking a little bit. Things aren't up to charge, but as we can see, this one's just started, and we're already at 9 bar. When I ran the same test on these two vans yesterday afternoon in the middle of the afternoon, it did, did not seem like either one of the air conditioners worked until I gave it a good bit of throttle. Even while the air conditioner is on, the clutch can turn off for various reasons. So let me see that the outside apparatus is not spinning now. We'll notice whenever the engine is running, the pulley towards the back will be running, but all that apparatus out front with the little tabs and stuff, that won't be turning until we turn the, uh, turn the air conditioner on. When AP200 says clutch on, that should be spinning. There's only one wire going to our air conditioner. Right down here. It's usually a blue wire inside of a plastic, black plastic jacket. It comes around here and ties into the air conditioner right there. We can tap into that and measure for 12 volts. If you've got 12 volts there and your clutch is not engaged up front, then you know the compressor is a problem because that should definitely engage it. Right here is some more important stuff. This pretty often gets damaged from batteries getting pushed in and out. So make sure those wires are in decent shape. Looks like this one's been pinned a couple of times to measure voltage. If your clutch is engaging, follow the instructions on this can. This air conditioning system is working, so it's always good to have some values of a good working system to compare to. Compressor shut off, no. Compressor shut off, no. Compressor clutch on. Refrigerant pressure, 7 bar. Pressure sensor, 1.2 volts. Auxiliary fan is not on yet, it is off. That'll probably come on once things heat up a little bit. Outlet temperature is 31 degrees. 
it's just come on it's not been five minutes yet it's blowing air but it's not cold at all and i'm beginning to doubt that my van's air conditioner works about anymore five minutes now the auxiliary fan is not kicked in compressor clutch is on so it's trying refrigerant pressure is seven bar outlet pressure is 32 degrees though why is that still We've got two Schrader valves. There. And up there. I believe this is the one we want to play with. This one's going to fit on there. So we know that's not the right one. So this is looking like a bad air conditioning system, but in fact, it's it's not that bad. It's just a little weak, and I haven't put enough RPMs to it to bring it up to pressure yet. Well, that's what it would look like when the compressor clutch is not on. I don't think my compressor's any good. Compressor clutch is definitely running down there, but our pressure on the low side is too high. Something's wrong. All right, so I'm plugged into another van here. Air conditioner is off. Clutch is clearly not turning. Give it a quick. And you see we've got high pressure there, just like the other one that's not working. So now we're going to turn the air conditioner on. Turn the fan on. Verify. Now spinning. It was still way too hot. The system that is working starting to blow cold. See the outlet air temperature is lowering to 24. The sensor pressure sensor voltage is 1.7. The other one was 1.2. This refrigerant pressure is 11 bar, the other one was 7. This is still pretty weak, it's just not as weak as the other van. Still reading way too high on that, I don't understand that. So back to my van, armed with the knowledge of what a recent rebuild should look like. I was able to get my refrigerant pressure up to 15 bar by stepping on the throttle for a little bit. I held it up around 2,000 RPM for uh, less than a minute, but more than 15 seconds. So as long as I was comfortable sitting here in the driveway revved up that high, I let off of it real slow. And it seems to be holding the pressure there at 16 bar. Pressure sensor voltage, 2.5. Auxiliary fan hasn't come on yet, but I've only been running two or three minutes here. Outlet air temperature is definitely dropping, and yes, absolutely, it's gotten cold. The fan just came on. The app confirms it. Auxiliary fan on. And we're 
our max charge. We're not in the red like we were earlier today. Fan cycling on and off as we would expect. Everything's working as it should now. So what went wrong today when I was trying to test the air conditioner in the middle of the afternoon? Pretty simple and I should have known better. I tell people all the time why roof air conditioners don't work. The very concept of air conditioning, the compressor pumps up the, the gas, compresses it, compression causes heat, pushes it through to the uh, expansion valve. The expansion valve releases it, just like releasing any aerosol can that makes it cold. That cold then condenses back down. Uh, you blow the, the air over the cold into the van. That cold gas then can circulates back around to the pump where it's compressed again. Uh, when it's hot, when it's compressed and hot, it's in the condenser coil out here and needs to cool off. Hi, airplane. It's starting out at 140 degrees. So when it's 100 degrees out here and the driveway is about 115, Temperature difference isn't enough to allow everything to cool off. It can't cool the Freon. All right, so this old van has bigger problems than the air conditioner, but for the sake of the video, button is on. Oh, the app shows that it's on. Temperature is set right. But the clutch is off because the refrigerator pressure is zero. Pressure sensor is half a volt, less than half a volt. So I expect we've got five volts going to it. We could verify that. All signs indicate we're out of refrigerant. Let's go verify that. We don't need to diagnose that any farther. Well, hell. There's no condenser here. I'm looking in and... First thing I see is the intercooler. The condenser and the condenser fan are both gone.